Hi, and welcome to Davis Sports Report. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And the next no love in basketball tell that we're going to talk about is Sedona Prince of TCU. And there has been a lot on social media about this situation, a lot. So let's get into that one. So Sedona Prince, she plays for TCU. She is 24 years old, six foot seven, position is a forward, and she is a senior this year for the Horn Frogs. And the thing about this one that really striked me is very interesting is one, there has been no police record or anything filed. Um, the her victim or alleged victim is a social media influencer who has 895,000 followers. <laughs> so, and the biggest thing that I found interesting is that she okay. has okay. 200,000. So um, there's been 200,000 people that has signed a petition to have Sedona removed from the TCU basketball team. Let's hear a little bit. What she did was she went on a Risa Tisa type rant <laughs> on TikTok, which really spun all of this off. Let's go here. So that's when I'm trying to build up the courage to go and talk to her, but I'm doing nothing about it. <laughs> and she can see me <laughs> from across the bar doing nothing about it. Mm -hmm. So that's when Hannah was like, all right, come on, we're going. <laughs> and Hannah went up to her first and complimented her hair. And that's when <laughs> I did the, the switch up and made my move. And so Liv comes up and talks to me. And like literally the first thing that she said to me was, do you want to come home with me? And I said, no. <laughs> I didn't say no. I said like, not tonight, but you know, I want to get your number in my phone. <laughs> So we exchanged phone numbers and then we kissed mm -hmm. and that was that. We had like a minute long conversation. We had to leave and as we were leaving, I'm like, I need to make an exit. That's what I have to do. I don't even have to say anything, but she just turns around, turns around. And then I'm like, <laughs> and that, was that was it. it. But then the next week we were dating completely inseparable and just found out so many signs that showed that we are we're soulmates and we're, we're oh, man. Yeah, like crazy crazy so like what out of this world type sign so that can be for another video but that's basically the story of how we met again so two hundred thousand people have signed a petition to have sedona removed no police report i mean these two look like they're in love soulmates what went wrong? <laughs> Let's get into it. Let's see what happened here. So we're going to start with part one. I didn't realize that uh, you can still get blocked text messages on your laptop. And I just stumbled across one from a certain somebody saying, I tarnish what we had. And what I'm posting on social media has ruined it. You want to know what tarnish what we had? Oh. oh. Let's get into it. It's time. Oh, it's on, y'all. It's on. Let's see. Part one of who the <laughs> fuck did I take to Mexico? Risa okay. Tisa style. So we wake up 3 a.m. for the plane ride. Already was scared because she is not good in the mornings. Okay. Was always very angry. No. Um, so I try not to step on her toes, try to stay out of her way until we got to the airport. Um, we got on the plane, everything was fine, and then we sat next to each other, ordered a beer, and um, I accidentally spilled some of my beer on her leg. So what'd she do? Got up and went and sat on the opposite side of the aisle from me for the rest of the plane ride. And what I do? Looked outside the window and cried until I fell asleep. And okay, so, so far. Okay. All right. Yeah. She moved. I mean... It's nice that there was room on the plane for her to move. So, <laughs> See, let's go. Until we got to Mexico. The trip that I completely paid for and planned. Mm -hmm. Planned because she said I didn't plan any dates. Mm -hmm. Enough dates. or get. Okay, I'm, I'm going to leave that one alone. The trip that I paid for. I, I'm going to leave it alone. Go ahead, go ahead. Flowers. Uh -huh. okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. 
So we get off the plane, we get to the shuttle that I booked, and we get on the shuttle. We have beers waiting for us, water waiting for us. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing a trend here. <laughs> Pretty sure they went to Mexico. I get it. Um, Sedona, 24, I believe. Her name is Liv, 22. So fairly young adults. Let's. It, so far, we've we've two beers in. Okay, let's go. And um, we get into a car crash. Oh. Not even 20 minutes into the ride. If that wasn't a sign enough itself from the Mayan gods, I don't know what it was. I should have taken it. But obviously, I'm not good at reading signs, okay? The first two nights were fine until the third day came around and she was getting upset that she wasn't in control of the plan. So I told her we could do whatever she wanted to do because it was her birthday. And what she wanted to do was rent an ATV. So we went and got the ATV, we had it for the whole day, and then came nighttime. She looks at me and says, I want to go exploring. I said, okay. And so what did we do? We left our phones in the hotel room and started to drive the ATV. And then My question here is how many more beers and tequila have you guys had between the daytime when you rented the ATV and now it's nighttime and we're going exploring on the ATV. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Probably lots of tequila in between, but hey, I'm just assuming here. Let's go. The dark in Mexico. We're going past the hotels. We're going past the shops and I'm asking her, where is she planning to go right now? What is her goal? And she says she wants to go to the arch. After the arch, it's pitch black. Like, there are jaguar crossing signs. Okay, that was part one. We're gonna, we're gonna stop. Part two, oh my God. Okay, she is distraught right now. I haven't heard anything to, to make her distraught yet, but I'm sure it's coming. 200,000 people want this girl off the team. So let's get into what, what happened here. What has happened that... um. Sedona needs to be banished from the earth. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. Part two. At this point, I am begging her to turn it around and for us to do this in the daytime when we have our phones because we left our phones to be more present in the moment. Mm -hmm. She's not answering me. She's just going and going faster. We're now past the arch and it's pitch black and it's the scariest thing I've ever experienced. I don't know this to be true, but I kind of know this to be true. There was some tequila involved. I mean, I'm assuming, but <laughs> there was lots of tequila involved in these decisions. <laughs> Let's go. I mean, Sedona's decision to drive an ATV at night in the wilderness and her decision to get on said ATV with her. Had to be, had to be tequila involved, had to be. Let's go. Experience, and I'm begging her, screaming, please stop the ATV, please stop the ATV. Mm -hmm. And she stops it as hard as she can, shoves me to the ground, looks me dead in my eyes, and then takes off and leaves me. Okay, the shoving to the ground is not okay. No, that's, that is not okay. That is assault. That's assault. If she shoved you to the ground. That's assault. And and she left you. I mean, not assault, but the shoving is, yep, let's go. In the pitch fucking black. Mm -hmm. So what do I do? I get up and I start running for my fucking life because I don't know what else. I didn't know what else to do in that situation. I'm literally telling myself, you're going to make it live. You're going to make it. All I can hear are the sounds of my footsteps on the fucking ground because mm -hmm. you can't hear anything else. It's pitch black jungle. Okay. Jungle. For like five minutes, I am running for my life. And the thoughts that were running through my head, I can't even put into words. But I see her headlights coming back. Oh, she came back. I see the headlights coming back. And as soon as she gets to me, she flips it on its side. And what do I do? I fucking <laughs> still run, out of, run over to her. And I'm like, baby, baby, are you okay? Trying to make sure that she's okay. She shoves me, tells me to... Okay, I got questions here. She flips the ATV on, so she wrecks the ATV. She's, And then you run over to, if she left you, uh, pushed you off and left you. Okay, then you run over and baby, baby. Okay, got it. I'm here. I'm, I got it. I got it. You really are in love, I think. Okay, 
Let's go. Yeah. To get the fuck off of her that it's my fault we're in this situation that I held her back. Oh. So I'm like, all right, we just crashed. You just crashed off an ATV. Let me flip this over. I mean, she must be strong. ATVs are heavy. Um, okay. She doesn't look that big, but okay, okay. It wouldn't start. Mm, mm -hmm. She's rubbing her eyes now. She is really distraught. Okay. So then I see a car coming down the street and I wave them down and it was a car filled with 10 guys in the back of the truck. Okay, oh. and thank God that they were good people. Mm -hmm. I asked them to tow us to our hotel that's a few miles away. They tie up our ATV and she's steering it as we're now going 35 miles per hour behind the back of a You get back on the ATV with her. Is that what I'm hearing? You're, you guys are getting towed and you thought it was a good idea to get back on the ATV with her after she just crashed it and she's been a bit belligerent. I think I would have taken my chances getting into the um, truck with the 10 guys, but that's just me. All right, let's, let's keep going here. Truck in the middle of a jungle. Hmm. She is swerving it, yelling hmm. at me. Okay. We're broken up. I'm breaking up with you. This is your fault. You're holding me back. And I'm literally saying, okay, we're broken up. Okay, let's just talk about this. When we get back, please stop swerving. I black out. I fly like seven feet off the freaking ATV my entire life. So, okay. She's riding on the ATV. They're pulling. She blacks out while on the ATV. Okay, we can't. We can't exactly blame Sedona for that one. She blacked out. And maybe it was the words that were broke up that made her black out. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's let's hear the rest. Side of my body completely, completely torn up. And mm. I wake up and I see her already standing and she's making them leave us. Leave, leave. We've got to figure it out. Leave. Thank you for your Okay. If if I'm gonna guess why she told them to leave. It's because they were drunk. They've wrecked an ATV. She is now hurt because she's fallen off the ATV. They're probably both drunk in Mexico and could end up in a Mexican jail. That's, I mean, that's a possibility. She may have said, you know what? We'll figure this out. Uh, Cause yeah, I'm not trying to, to figure my way out of a Mexican jail. So, okay, let's, let's hear. Your help. And now they're driving away as I'm picking myself up and we're now stranded once again in the middle of a, of a jungle <laughs> with no phones. Now crash off an ATV. So I push it to the side and I'm like, all right, let's just <laughs> go. Let's start walking. That's part two, part three coming. All right, part three coming. So far, what I've heard is in part two, she did get shoved off an ATV. That the, everything else I think is... um. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Yep. She got shoved off. Listen, and I don't, this girl clearly has a lot of, almost like the beehive. I don't want problems with these people. <laughs> Do not want problems with these people. But I'm just saying how I am uh, hearing and, and taking this in so far. Uh, they, they go to Mexico. They're drinking. She wastes some beer. Sedona moves. Okay. Just to recap really quick. They get on an ATV at night. My thought is there was some tequila in between this, you know, for them to be wrecking an ATV and, and thinking it's a good idea to go out in a foreign country where it's dark and jaguars. Okay, so I, I know about tequila. I drink tequila. You can make bad decisions there. So let's let's get to part three. Let's get to part three. Here we go. So now we're walking back after both being crashed off an ATV um, and I pushed it by the way, into the jungle. I, I was like, I'll deal with this tomorrow. This girl is um, we're walking now and she is skipping back and forth. Woo, I'm single, woo, I'm single. Where's my short Latina baddie at? Where's my little Latina baddie? I'm like, what am I even experiencing right now? Mm. Um, so then we get into a taxi that happened to be driving down the street. We get into it. And um, we get taken to the hotel. Good. And taxis are good. The hotel security had to escort her up to the room because she couldn't physically hold herself up. 
I mean, at this point, she's probably still drunk and uh, probably got some injuries. I mean, if you flip over an ATV, which I believe at this point she, yeah, both of them now have sustained some injuries with this ATV. Okay. Mm -hmm. The next day we woke up and it was her birthday. So oh. it's now her birthday. Her and birthday. I've woken up and I'm kissing on her, loving on her. And I'm like. Uh, wait, what? You, you were doing what? Okay. All right. So you guys have gone through this traumatic event on, let's say, day minus one. And now today is her birthday. So you're kissing on her and hugging on her. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. All right. I mean, oh, okay. Maybe it's your birthday. Like, let's, let's have a good day today. Let's pretend that yesterday didn't happen. Mm. And she shoves me away from her. Mm -hmm. She's mm -hmm. like, we're broken up. Mm -hmm. um, I'm done with you. I don't want to spend my birthday. Okay, the shove, the shove was it was it a get off me, right? Because because you're on me. I told you we were broke up. You're on me kissing. Is it is that a shove? A, a, you know, hey, give me my space shove, or was it a shove? Or was it a you know? I think people kind of it's like a gray area there. They're, they're just yeah, not quite explaining if it was a. Get off me. Because I get that. If we broke up, I don't necessarily need you all up in here. Okay. All right. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Stay with you. And rolls her head into the pillow. Okay. So I'm like, how can I make her day better? Still mm. Not your job. And I called the ATV guy and I was like, yo, we just crashed. Um, can you have someone come pick me up to figure out what to do? And so he had someone come pick me they just crashed the, the night before. Okay. I mean, maybe it was three, four in the morning. I don't know. She said night. So maybe it was three, four in the morning. Cause yeah. Okay. All right. Just crashed, but it's the next day and she's birthday and okay. Got it. Me up on a moped after just crashing on an ATV. So of course I didn't want to get on it, but I mm -hmm. did. And we have to go find the ATV in the middle mm -hmm. of the jungle. That's usually and how it was. We did. Mm -hmm. They assessed it. It was eight hundred dollars, so of course I just paid for it up front right away. And then um, I stopped at the pharmacy. I got her ibuprofen, neosporin, bandages, anything I could think of. That's nice. And I stopped at the front desk, and I was like, "Hey, we just got an accident. Do you have anything that could possibly help?" Okay, wait, 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 wait. 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 She stopped at the pharmacy. She got Sedona bandages and things, but nothing for her. She didn't really say she got anything for herself. She got Sedona bandages and Neosporin and all the good stuff. Okay. And then she comes back to the hotel. She's distraught. Look at her face. She's distraught. Let's go. Medical team to our room. They brought and the medical team. When they saw my wounds and then mm -hmm. they saw hers, mm -hmm. they were like, oh, yeah, she needs help. Okay. First. Mm -hmm. And I could just see her in the corner of my eye getting pissed off at the fact that I was getting help first. Are we like, sure that's I why? I didn't do anything right, dude. Okay, are we sure that's why she was pissed off? Or are you inferring that that's... <laughs> I, don't, I don't know either of these girls. I'm just listening. I'm just here to listen. <laughs> Let's go, though. After the medical team leaves, I literally put Neosporin on her, put bandages on her, and I'm reapplying it every hour. And So I'm guessing the medical team gave her no attention. Maybe they were like, she's a big girl. She's six foot seven. She's all right. She's good. Um, I just can't imagine the medical team attending to just one. I don't know. Maybe that happened. I don't know. I've never been hurt in that. I've been to Mexico. Never been hurt. Thank God. You know? Okay. Let's Once see. did she ask if I was okay? Hmm. And I literally at one point was like, do you not understand that I also fell off an ATV too? Uh -huh. And I'm doing everything I can today to make your day better. And you're just pushing me away. And all I got was an eye roll and then a turn into the pillow. So I spent that day for hours circling the hotel room, losing my mind, just thinking of what I could do to wake her up or make her feel better. Oh, I would have spent that day booking my flight back. But hey, I mean, hey, 
that's what I would have spent my day doing. But <laughs> young love, right? Young love. Okay, let's see. And um, <clears throat> she knew I made reservations for 8.30. Mm -hmm, shame. And she wakes up at 8 o'clock, of course. Shoots okay. up right out of bed. She mm -hmm. goes, you know what? I'm going to spend my birthday alone. Wow. Okay. It's the end of that part. Oh, oh. Wait, wait, wait. We are now up to part four. So far, I've heard a shove. I F you, maybe I shouldn't say that. Okay, an F you and a um a eye roll. Okay. Two hundred. I'm just trying to put together these two hundred thousand people that want her kicked off the team. I'm sure. I'm sure we're gonna get there though. We are only on part four. Let's go. Okay, get myself some water. Um I, I think I need some too. Maybe so it's eight o'clock. I'm already ready to go. I'm in a pretty dress. I'm ready to go to dinner. She leaves me in the hotel room. So I'm like, okay. I literally, of course, start crying again. And I get into the bed. I'm ready to go to sleep at this point. I'm like, I'm just going to sleep this day away. Two hours goes by. Um, and then I get a... <laughs> I, bro. I get a text from her saying that she's getting a tattoo down the street and that I should pull up. Up. At this point, I just wanted to see my girlfriend. So Aww. what did I do? I you got a text and I told her I was on the way. And to she told me, baby, I'm so sorry for the way I reacted today. You planned such an amazing birthday for me. I just want my birthday to be manic, okay. quote, unquote. Mm -hmm. So I said, let's just talk about this when we get back to the States. Let's have a great rest of your birthday. I love you. Oh, those are the text messages. Okay, yep. Okay. And I show up to the tattoo shop, and what do I see the first thing when I walk in? Five girls taking shots with her. All right. What? Yes, okay. She's enjoying that birthday. What am I walking into? There's three girls that I love, still talk to to this day. Two girls, you guys can eat this. Mm. Eat it. Mm -hmm. They are flirting with her right in front of me, literally calling her sexy, mommy, hot. And I'm with the three other girls who were gravitated towards me and were only talking to me. And I'm just pushing back shots because oh, like, I don't oh. really want to be there. We have it right now. There um, we have it. <laughs> there we have it. The shots. I had a feeling. I had a feeling tequila had something to do with this. Okay. But hey, here we go. Here we go. I, I mean, there is a certain tequila that makes me act real silly too, but hey, you know, here we go. <laughs> so she comes up to me and she's like, oh, they just asked to have a threesome. I said, you're fucking joking, right? Are you actually joking? And she's like, well, I got their number and we're going to go over to their villa when you're done with your tattoo. So I was like, okay. Is that okay? Why did you invite me again? So those girls leave, right? And mm -hmm. now it's just me and her as I'm getting the rest of my tattoo done. And she immediately goes cold to me, stops talking to me. And um, I mean, then my tattoo is done tattoo. and the girls come to pick us up to take us to their villa. This one girl, and I'm going to name her Francesca. She got out of the front and she literally was like, I'll sit on your lap mm -hmm. to my freaking girlfriend. I look at her and I'm like, no, you're not, bro. What are you doing? So then automatically the tension in the car was so awkward. My girlfriend didn't even want me sitting on her. I could literally feel the energy. So I felt like I was just going along for the ride to make sure that she wasn't cheating on me. Like that's oh. literally what I felt like I was there for. Oh. And then we get to the villa and I turn to my girl, T who I'm still friends with to this day. And I ask her if she could take me to the bathroom because I just needed, I needed a second away from what was going on. Okay. Yeah, that next part. Okay, I had it. Okay, next part. That she is she is pretty distraught right now. So my girl she comes into the room with me, the bathroom with me, and she's the one to say to me, Girl, what is your girlfriend on? Like mm. she's being way too friendly. My question so is. So what do I do? I mean, yeah. I start crying because I of course felt validated and I, I, I thought I was going crazy, but no, other people could see it too. And she's like, girl, I got your back. None of my friends are touching her. She is a freaking weirdo. Um, mm -hmm. Because the three girls that were talking to me, that gravitated towards me, they apparently were a separate friend group from the two girls that they were with. They all met that same night. So 
she was like, look, if you need a place to stay, we're going back to our villa soon. You can come with us. I was like, thank you. I appreciate that. We go downstairs and you will not believe, you will not believe what I see, what I saw. I don't even know if I can. I mean, she is, she's really in there wiping the eyes. She is, she's hurt. She's hurt by um, other girls hitting on her girl. And I am guessing this is going to get deeper because right now I am uh, hearing a um, misdemeanor, maybe. Okay, let's go. Say it. My girlfriend was in the pool of the villa without a top on. And I mean, she's 24. Y'all are in Mexico drinking tequila. I mean, sounds about right to me, but okay. Holding Francesca mm, in her Francesca. arms pressed against her, pouring a shot of Don Julio in her mouth. Sounds about right. Lots of so drinking. Come here, sexy. Come here, mommy. <laughs> Not that it's funny. <laughs> Bro, it gets worse. Ooh. It gets worse. Just worse. Wait. Worse, guys. Here we go. Here we so go. Here we go. go. Her, and I say, you know, I'm going to leave. Um, I don't deserve to sit here and watch this, so I'm going to go. And she looks at me and says, if you leave, I'm going to hurt tonight. Mm -hmm. That sounds about right. So I said, okay, bet. <laughs> and I walked up over to my girl and I said, I'm ready to leave. Mm -hmm. And they all turned to her and started screaming at her for me. I didn't, I didn't. And when I say sounds about right, I'm not condoning <laughs> what she's doing i'm just saying at 24 with lots of tequila involved he's, yeah, I, yeah i haven't heard anything outrageous yet for some 22 and 24 year olds that are in mexico drinking lots of shots of tequila i just haven't heard anything yet that made me say oh, and clutch clutch the pearls you know i'm like yeah I didn't have to say a single word. It was like I had a little you see your girlfriend like that. Like though. a movie scene. Not um, nice. But we get all the way to the front of the villa when I realize I still have her phone in my really? bag. Okay. So the girls are like, stay here. We're going to run it back to her. You don't go anywhere. Stay right here. So they run back to the villa and I'm at the front now and I just hear blood curdling screams. Blood curtains. I'm like, what is going on? So then I see them running out of the front of the villa. Okay, she said, blood curdling screams. This is it. This has to be it. She has done something to somebody. Okay, they're running. Okay, so I think she ended with they're running out of the villa. Let me let me rewatch. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, here we go. The front now, and I just hear blood curdling screams. Yeah. And I'm like, what is going on? So then I see them running out of the front of the villa, literally running for their life. They're like, we are leaving with or without running you. For their life. Right now, your girlfriend is a psychopath. I'm like, what is going on, bro? They said that the look in her eyes when they gave the phone back to her was the scariest thing that they've ever seen in their life. And the thing is, I know. Wait, 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 wait. Blood curdling screams. Because she looked at them angrily. Did she have lasers coming out of her eyes? Had she turned into a zombie? Like I'm thinking if somebody looks at me, even if they have a mean scowl on their face, I'm not going to have a blood curdling scream. But, 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 but if there's tequila involved, it's possible. It's possible. All right, let's hear what else she has to say. Because she said this is the part, right? Part six. We're on part six. This has to be where it all goes down for 200,000 people. Yeah, this has to be. Let's go. Exactly that look. She so they leave mm -hmm. um, because something, of course, in me told me to stay with her. Something <laughs> told you to wait. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. She had Francesca in the pool. She's topless. She's calling Francesca baby, sweet, cute mommy, something. Giving her shots. You're ready to leave because they come out screaming. You think it's a good idea for you to go back and stay. You were ready to leave. 
that you decided, okay, this is where things are going to go really bad. Here we go. I'm sure of it. I am sure. I'm sure of it. Let's go. And they leave. They get my number. They're like, make sure that you're okay. Please text us. Please stay safe. Like, we love you. We're here for you. Nice. And, um, yeah, I went back to go find her. And she was laying in the bushes. Oh. Saying that her ankle was broken. Where was Francesca? So I picked her up and took her to the front. Wait, 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 wait. Did she say she picked her up? Did she say she picked her up? She's six foot seven. I mean, based on what I saw in the pictures, you are tiny compared to her. And you picked her up. Maybe I heard that wrong. I had to have. Let's let's go back. Francesca was gone, though, I guess, by now. Francesca just was like, hey, it's no fun if you're not here to watch. I don't <laughs> okay. Laying in the bushes, saying that her ankle was broken. Uh-huh. So I picked her up and took her to the front of the villa and got us a taxi, took us to the hotel, and of course had to have security escort her once again. He won't do that. Bro. What work. did I do the next day? Oh, please don't still tell kiss me. On her. Oh. Still love on her. Oh. Be like, baby, let's pretend yesterday didn't happen. Let's Ooh. pretend today's your birthday. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> so like I said, Okay, guys, <laughs> I'm going to take a quick pause. If you haven't already hit the thumbs up, please go ahead and do so if you're enjoying. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up. Give us a like. Hey, and you could be the first to give us a super chat if you'd like. So, okay, let's get back into it. We woke up the next day. I still try to love on her, kiss on her, act like nothing happened the two nights before. That let's have a good day today statement, you know. Um, she turns to me, pushes me away, and says, we're done, Liv. Pushes, okay, again with the pushes. I don't know. I don't know. I, okay, all right. I, you know, if you're done with somebody, though, and they're, you know, invading your personal space, you do kind of, you know, want your space. Is that a push? Don't come for me, guys. I'm asking the question. I'm just asking the question. Do not. Come for me. I'm just, I'm just curious. Okay, let's see. Um, I told my mom we're broken up. So in my head, it's over because when moms get involved, the game is done. And, um, but then she goes on to call her right in front of me on speakerphone. And her mom says, oh, hi, honey, how was your birthday? Because she didn't speak to her. She didn't speak to anyone on her birthday. She slept the entire day away. And she goes on to say, Oh, it was terrible. Olivia completely ruined it. So I'm not going to let that happen, especially two feet away from me. So I hop in and I say, why don't you tell her that you tried to girls right in front of me? And needless to say, that was a start to the end. The start to the end. Okay, let me, let me just point something out over here in the comments section. It's the way that I would have been on that plane the very first day. Who is that? Andrea's done. Right. Right. Here we go at the bottom. Serene said, that was the start to the end? I mean, I'm <laughs> see somebody, somebody sees me. <laughs> okay. We're at part seven. We almost done. We are almost done. Okay. The start to the freaking end. Hmm. All right, here we go. Part eight. The final straw that broke the camel's back. Happened. Final, final That's straw. All. Okay. Kendall over here. Kendall LR. Kendall R says that was the final straw. That. Okay. <laughs> okay let's go. It took for me to pack my bags and book the nearest flight out of Mexico back to the States. Called my mom, told her everything that happened and I was out. But yeah. What happened was I got blocked. All of the pictures got removed immediately. Like I was the one who did something wrong. It's okay. And that's what started the social media snowball, even though they were the one to come to me, pressing me saying that if I took it to social media. Okay. Somebody is hurt. Somebody's hurt that she got blocked and her pictures were taken down. Sweetie, those are the least of your problems. The least. You should have welcomed being blocked. Okay, I'm gonna continue. 
uh, they would pursue legal action. It was the first thing said to me, non-apology. Freaking, <laughs> bruh. And look, I never wanted to take it to social media, but it's come to a point where uh, I'm posting normal content and I'm getting pressed about it as if I'm posting anything alluding to what actually happened. Okay, <laughs> you're poking the bear. You Ooh. poked the bear. The poked the bear. So now she had to come onto social media and tell us about this drunken trip you guys had and the shenanigans that took place. Okay, let's go. This is, um, <clears throat> quote unquote, what I was told by my ex. Have an amazing life, Olivia. Truly, I hope you find your soulmate. It's not me. Best wishes and have a great life. If you do not want any more troubles, then do not go to social media. If oh. you do want to post about our breakup, I will sue you and your oh. family, my baby, oh. until you can no longer put food on y'all's table. Oh. And you know that's the truth. Mm. Bye, sweet, beautiful angel. I will meet you in the next lifetime. Well, I mean, sweet, beautiful angel, and I will meet you in the next lifetime. I mean, that was a, a nice nasty, as they call it. A nice nasty. <laughs> that wasn't nice. That wasn't nice. That wasn't nice. Okay, let's keep going. That was a nice nasty. Oh, we're almost done. It's. I think it's only one more. Okay, let's go. She got them receipts too. So I just want to add to the context of everything. When I left Mexico, uh, she stayed there for another 12 days. And in those 12 days, she would not answer anybody in her life besides me. Sweetie, I thought you were blocked. Okay. Okay. All right. I thought you were blocked, but she wouldn't answer anybody in your life, her life, except you. Then that means she wouldn't have been answering anybody because I wouldn't have been calling her. No. Mm -mm. Nope. That's her mama's job at this point. Yeah. Mom would have got in touch with her or she would have flew over there. I'm, I promise you she would have. So me... Being the person I am, still oh. cared for her physical well-being oh. and reached out to her multiple times throughout those 12 days to make sure that she was getting home to the state successfully. We didn't go no contact until after I got all of my things back from our apartment. And to be honest, we didn't end on terrible, terrible terms. Okay, she said all of her things back to her. So they were living together, all of her things back to her. And she was there for 12 days. In 12 days, my dear, I could have moved to another country. I would have been long gone before she got back there. Long gone. If that was the intention, literally to another country in 12 days. I could have packed my things and been in another country in 12 days. But okay. And I don't know if that was a subconscious thing on my end from wanting to be able to get all my things back in perfect tact or if it was a trauma bond truly mm -hmm. i don't know that but the second that we went no contact and i was able to solely process my emotions and everything that i went through i i'm angry i have so mm -hmm. many freaking questions but you know that part that part she's angry she's i mean i'm not saying she doesn't have a reason to be upset but uh yeah, I mean, baby girl, move on. Move on. Move on. Don't be angry. Let it be. Okay, let's but go. I've learned that some of those questions are better left unanswered. Probably. Seriously, I don't even want to know. And I've taken the time. I've taken the time to try and stay silent, protect someone's peace who has done nothing but disturb my own. But mm. then when I get a text message by the same person, telling me that what i have been posting online has tarnished the love that we shared that it's disturbing their healing journey what healing journey what are you i'm gonna have to stop you i'm gonna have to stop you right there <laughs> i'm gonna have to stop you right there if you guys were together two years even if she was the biggest dog in town Two years, she probably still has a healing journey also. And I'm thinking she was, I mean, just based on what I've seen, she was, uh, mm -hmm. she liked the women. She liked getting around to the women. Okay. But again, I mean, we're at part nine. I haven't heard anything yet that, okay. Not based on this. 
Maybe there's something else out there, but I haven't seen. Uh, yeah. Okay. You having to heal from. I'm the one having to relearn how to love, relearn oh. how to love myself, love others, trust others. All He's you right. did was lose me. He's I'm angry. not going to sit back and get a text message. I mean, she clearly knows she's the prize, right? She knows this. She is letting all of us know. I'm the prize here, ma'am. I'm the now, and I'm hurt because I know I was the prize, and you went and fumbled the ball. Okay. She's hurt by that, too, though. She's hurt by knowing. I mean, it, it does have to suck. It does. It does. It has to suck. You know, she is a beautiful girl. It has to suck. Yeah. Like okay. that and let it go unspoken. Sorry, but I've been quiet for too long. Thanks for listening to my story. That's the story. Hi, guys. So I just wanted to take a second to come on here and thank every single one of you for all of the support, all of the messages. I'm truly a little bit overwhelmed, so I can't really respond to a lot of them right now. So I thought I would just make this video. But I also want to remind anybody who is going through a similar situation, a similar circumstance, that you are not alone. Mm -hmm. And do not That's be true. silenced or guilted That's into... True not being able to share your story because it is your experience and no I mean share your story if you like my thing is if you are having getting um any type of physical things happening don't share your story online please go and make a report please there has to be paper trails for this type of stuff otherwise it is just you're going online to vent um yeah. Yeah. It, they're really, I mean, and, and don't get me wrong. Uh, social media is the mob. <laughs> social media can be the mob and they will come for you. I'm praying they don't come for me over this video, but social media can be the damn mob. So yeah. Uh, yeah. Get help. Like if you're experiencing any type of de-violence or whatever, I know um, I'm kind of making light of the situation, but it is serious. Uh, that is serious. So from me to you, please, if you're experiencing anything, get help, report it. That's very important. All right, let's finish listening to her um, thanking her supporters. Nobody can take that away from you. And if that person truly didn't want those things to be said about them, maybe they shouldn't have done those things. And sometimes it does take a step back to realize just how bad those things were that happened to you. I'm currently in Vegas. I was with all my best friends last night, and now I am preparing to move to San Diego. So oh. I'm happy to take you guys. God, I hope you're okay. I'm overall just very excited to take you guys along for the journey, and I truly believe that my healing is starting now. Good. Um, Good. Thank you guys. I love y'all. I'm, I'm happy to hear she's healing. Um, I yeah. have seen and heard everything that's been said and what's transpired these last few weeks on the internet and i have been quiet because i've genuinely just been listening and taking everything in i have been holding myself accountable and reflecting into the mistakes that i've made and the things mm -hmm. i've done in my past mm -hmm. in order to be completely honest and transparent with y'all and hold myself accountable to the internet right like okay you don't need to be held accountable to the internet but to yourself please go to some alcoholics anonymous classes I mean, just based on the trends I'm seeing, alcohol plays a big part. And I think sometimes larger people assume they can handle the liquor better, but that is not the case. It is not. Um, I mean, we've all been around somebody that's, you know, acts out of character when they're drinking and, you know, that needs to be addressed. It seems like here TCU should definitely be addressing that with this young lady so that she could be successful in life. I do think, and I think she may need to get some anger management classes because it seems like she's on an emotional roller coaster when she's drinking. Just not based on this video, but other videos that I've seen where she gets drunk and then she's mad and then she's, I love yous. And yeah, you know, I mean, stay away from whatever it is. For me, it's Patron. Stay away. I stay away. I stay away. Okay. Like I should have done a long time ago. And I wasn't ready to yet until last night. My parents were brought into this. And oh. now my 60 and almost 70 year old mother and father 
have been receiving countless threats and getting harassed all day and are scared. It's cruel, it's wrong, and it's not the way that we should hold each other accountable. It's just not right. Now, I, I have never abused anybody in my life. That's not who I am. That's not what I do. That's not what I stand for. I've never abused anybody emotionally, physically, mentally, you know, verbally. That's not me, and that's not what I've done. That's not who I am. Now, in saying that, though, right, I, I know that I have not been the best partner, and I take accountability for that. I have not been a great girlfriend at times, and I have fallen short so many times in my relationships. I wanted to give my all. I wanted to be the best partner that I could be. I just didn't have the right tools at the time, and I wasn't that complete person that I thought that I was. And to my ex-girlfriends, I genuinely am sorry. I, I really am. I These past four months, and a lot of you know the last years of my life, but especially these past four months, I have been completely off social media and locked out from all the outside noise in the world to focus on myself and to go to intense trauma therapy and to Good. heal so much pain that's been with me, right, for so long and affecting the choices mm. that I make and the things that I do in my adult life. Mm. I have been journaling, right, meditating, these things that I need to do in order to be the best person that I can be and sure. consistently grow and heal and learn and develop into the human being and the adult that I know that I can be. I hope that everyone involved in this can just find peace and healing and forgiveness and that we can move on and learn something from this. And that, you know, you all know that in my life, all I strive to do is to be good and to give back and to help people and to make this world a better place. And that's all I will continue to do. It is. So thanks. Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's the end that's the end Ooh, that was a lot i am sorry that went so long guys that was a lot um yeah i think both of them need some counseling and dealing with emotions they're young they're young I, if they've been together two years they were 20 and 22 when they got together maybe shouldn't have been taking the thing so seriously you know moving in together but I also think that this is, isn't her first time, Liv's first time seeing Sedona behave in this manner, just based on what I've seen on the internet about her behavior when she's drinking. So if you guys have been together two years, this isn't the first time you've seen her behave that way when she's drinking. Um, again, I hope they both get the help they need. I do hope they both have a great healing journey. Um, yeah, like I said, these are very serious allegations. Um Anytime there is any shoving, pushing, as the lawyer said, or the, the senator said, laying hands on anyone, you know, definitely take that seriously. Get get it reported. And, um, you know, that's all that we have. I, again, I'm sorry I held you guys for so long. Hit that like button. Hit the like button. Give us a thumbs up. And um, we'll do more content like this if we see that you guys like it. So let us know if you enjoyed it. You know, put something in the comment section here in this situation. Are you Team Sedona or Team Liv? Like, it seems like Liv has a lot of supporters, but I mean, I haven't gone to Sedona's page to see if she has supporters or not. Um, seems like people think she's a scumbag based on what she did to someone named Riley. So <laughs> I think Riley was an ex-girlfriend and Riley must have a lot of uh, supporters too out there. I think she's a social media influencer as well. And uh, Sedona, maybe you don't want to continue to date social media influencers. They, you getting drug, girlfriend, you getting drug. So we'll see what the season has to hold. We're going to continue to bring you updates on both of these stories for South Carolina and Ashlyn Watkin, um, Ashlyn, and then on Sedona to see Watkins, Ashlyn Watkins and Sedona to see if there's, you know, any further suspensions or transfers or anything that happens to either of these young ladies. Um, we'll be bringing it back to you. So thank you for watching and we will see you on the next one. Please like, comment below, subscribe, share it with a friend that you think might enjoy this content. And again, let us know if you like it. If you like it, we'll do it more. This is the first time I've kind of covered something in depth like this. And, uh, you know, so yeah, let me know if that's something you guys enjoy and I'll continue to do it if so. Have a good one and we will see you on the next one. Goodbye.